Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the On Time On Target Morning Brief for Investor Fighter Pod Precision on a daily basis. We are going to talk today about AMC stock. Now, you know that my normal opinion is don't touch any of the meme stocks. If you do, uh, just know what you're getting in for, right? You're kind of trading a little bit of dart throwing there more than actually trading uh, just because these things are being controlled by forces outside of, you know, the fundamentals of a stock. And I hear you chuckling. The, you know, a lot of the stocks out there trade outside of their fundamentals. Uh, so, but particularly with the meme stocks, you do have a lot of folks and you add all them up uh, together, and that's quite a significant amount of money kind of being uh, moved around in you know a chat room, if you will. Um, <clears throat> so that's a, you know, the story of AMC ran up big, it's kind of come back down. Now this morning, it is up 10% already, not just because you get free popcorn as a, as a shareholder, which you do, we will talk about that in a minute, but because they actually beat earnings. Okay, chuckle, chuckle. They lost less than I thought than, than was expected. Uh, 91 cents per share was the expected loss. They came in at only losing 71 cents per share. I kind of thought it would be more myself just because it's such a challenging industry. Uh, but they beat earnings, they also beat revenue coming in at 440 million when they expected 380 million. Um, so all in all, you know, Good news story. Yeah, I think it is a good news story. Is it enough to hop in with a bunch of money? I wouldn't say for the long term. I still kind of am thinking that the traditional movie theater thesis as a social gathering point is probably challenged uh, going forward. And especially since, you know, and you, know, you saw that Scarlett Johansson, Johansson, if I'm saying that right, uh, sued uh, Disney for releasing Black Widow during streaming while it was going out to theaters. Yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of us would, you know, I enjoy the theater experience, but I also enjoy paying, you know, I'll pay 30 bucks to stay at home because uh, that's generally what I'm paying for snacks <clears throat> or more at the theater anymore, right? And you watch it from the current, you know, the uh, comfort of your own home. So <clears throat> not necessarily the biggest long-term thesis out there, but certainly there are some bright points for AMC this morning and that's what we're going to talk about. And yes, you heard it here. Uh, they are accepting Bitcoin for tickets now. So how about that? Uh, that's all I got to say about that. All right. So they're kind of, uh, you know, now they're hip and swanky and you get free popcorn. So uh, if you want, if you're on TikTok at all, there's a guy that uh, does a couple bits on being a sh shareholder of AMC. It's pretty epic. All right. Our topic of the day is AMC. We have talked about that. Our question is going to be, should you or shouldn't you reinvest dividends in your brokerage accounts? We're going to talk about the different philosophies there and what actually goes on. Uh, for our trades today, we do have a bunch of longs, despite the market only being up a little bit right now. Um, AMC, of course, leading the pack at 10% plus. Uh, we kind of threw a Threw a dart here at 37.13 this morning as a potentially good entry point. A lot of resistance there, and it's above that at this point, so that's looking good. Uh, probably take a look at that really hard at the open. Uh, for our short today, only one out there, VTNR, uh, Vertex, something or other. Uh, missed earnings and is down uh, 5%. Don't really like that. So we'll probably just look at three longs uh, today. All right, if you're joining, if you're catching us on replay, thank you so much for checking us out. Make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. If you want to come on into the room, uh, we have a chat room and a QA and a that's uh, above my head here uh, where you can ask me anything you want about any stock or any question. I will answer that while we are on the air. And if you, uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back. Here's our lineup card for the day, Tuesday, August 10th. Standard disclaimer applies. We have this is a financial education presentation, but you have to do your own due diligence for acting upon anything you hear in the show. Full disclaimer information is available at ototnow.com. All right, we're going to mission objectives, grow our money, protect our money, live off our money. Today, we're talking about growing our money by picking up some shares of AMC stock. In other words, should you or shouldn't you? I should say that you know, the bottom line up front, is I hated a little bit less today than I did yesterday because they beat earnings and beat revenue. Um, <clears throat> and they're doing some good things to kind of stay relevant and reinvent their business, such as accepting Bitcoin. Uh, is it gimmicky? Mm, not necessarily. I think, you know, my opinion on Bitcoin is changing over time. Um, so why not, right? 
Uh, I'm sure it doesn't hurt them. And if I remember correctly, I could probably, I think, I have to say I think because I don't know officially, but I think I could accept Bitcoin uh, for payment here at Anchor Star Wealth. Uh, because I use, I do have a PayPal account. So if somebody was really pushing for me to be woke and swanky and all that stuff, I suppose I could accept their bit, Bitcoin in payment uh, through the PayPal uh, conversion there. Um, but back to AMC, we're going to look at the history of the, of the stock. There's a trail of tears there. A bunch of people made money, or at least some people made money. I would say it's more likely that a few made money and a bunch of people lost money, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but the stock's gone way up and come way back down. And we'll take a look about if you're going to enter here. Uh, is this a good place? Question of the day, we'll talk about dividend and capital gains reinvestment. And let's see. Our flow for today, long, short, open, short, long. We'll do a market review, headline review, look at AMC. We're pretty much going to look at AMC and then move on and then go on into the market open. As far as the uh, setup for today, I'm going to go ahead and put TD Ameritrade up here. <clears throat> Here's what we got. A lot of things are trending in the green. For the three longs, I have AMC, ASTR, and Plug Power. Uh, ASTR is new government contracts, largely with Space Force. That I don't know if they have a lot of money or not, but they may since they're kind of new, right? Um, and then uh, Plug Power, if you if you've heard the $3.5 trillion budget bill uh, announced this morning, there's a hydrogen piece in that, and Plug is obviously into that space uh, significantly. I've driven hydrogen trucks. I thought that was this uh, what a pain a complete pain but anyhow that's from my military days i don't know it's probably a long a lot better and now than it was okay here's our market it only goes up 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 right so uh don't forget markets can reverse and go down at some point in time uh but we're going on you know nine months slash 15 months of a straight up market uh, so enjoy the ride. Just remember, it's okay to trim positions that get outside. Outside, so when I hop in there and I sell some uh, MSTR on your behalf, don't get mad. We're just taking profits and being um, diligent and disciplined with our investing. Um, but straight up, all the trend lines are up, and again, I think we're good to go until the infrastructure bill gets passed. Maybe now we'll duke it out over this budget thing, but eventually we're going to start talking tax reform, unless the Democrats have kind of uh, behind the scenes said we're not going to talk about it this year. And if that's the case, well, you got another, you know, five to eight percent this year of a market going up, in my opinion, if tax reform doesn't happen. Here's the five day look. So you can kind of zoom in there and go, yep, kind of trending higher, flat the past couple of days. A lot of positivity in the market going into the open today, though. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these futures on cnbc.com, which is right here, and refresh that for you. <clears throat> All right, green across the board, it was not earlier. The only thing that was green earlier was NASDAQ, so that's why I say we're trending. Uh, from there, let's look at the bond market. Hey, they switched my lineup here. That's different. 1.3% uh, on the bonds. We got oil up next to 67, still outside of our 40, 60 range. Uh, gold and silver both up a little bit. We got crypto getting in the lineup before, you know, they must weight these uh, as far as who checks what the most, right? And probably move the more check stuff to the left. That's my guess. Um, <clears throat> got Bitcoin down, Ethereum and Ripple are up. Then we go around the world, Asia, or excuse me, Europe up across the board, Asia's up across the board. Um, so overall, pretty good looking numbers setting up for a green uh, day. So here you go, short seller Jim Chanos hopping in short against meme stock favorite AMC. Uh, you know that these people have a complete disdain for short sellers. So a headline like that probably leads the uh, diamond hand army to even buy more. I don't know how they think, uh, but I do know that they've got power as a group. And if they want to move against this guy, then yep, here we go. Uh, here's another AMC headline stock jumping after its earnings report. It did get an upgrade from a couple of folks. All right, infrastructure bills getting ready to pass the Democrat, the House, the Senate anyway. Uh, we shall see if it gets signed into law as is. <clears throat> All right, looking for more AMC related news or anything. There's another one. Yep, jumping off of that. Biggest analyst calls. We'll run through these real quick and then we'll take a look at the chart. <clears throat> Planet Fitness a buy. That's another one that's a, a struggle. I, you know, with all the home 
you know, Apple stuff, uh, the home being able to work out. I don't know. I don't know if the long-term thesis for gyms is good or not. I would not put money behind it. <clears throat> okay, Credit Suisse, if I'm saying that correctly, reiterates AMC is an underperform. I do think the stock price is too high, so that's where they're getting that uh, underperform from, not because I think that, because it is. Okay, and Victoria's Secret, you know they split off from LB Brands. I just passed it, but I saw it last second there. Um, significant growth opportunities. <clears throat> I don't know. I used to be a big fan of LB Brands. I used to think that, you know, Victoria's Secret was a, a pretty much a luxury brand from a price point perspective. Um, I think it was kind of, you know, a must have uh, sort of retail, you know, line, if you will. But a lot of, uh, a lot of that stuff has changed, you know, the, um, you know, trying to figure out, uh, you know, celebrating all types of body weights, not just not her body designs, not just like the perfect image. So I don't know, I would not put money behind Victoria's Secret unless they're significantly changing uh, their overall storyline. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at AMC stock here on the chart. And here we go. So, all right, it hangs out out here. <clears throat> so we're back here at the election. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I can't remember what caused the jump here to go above 10 bucks. Nothing, but the real move here was the early June move all the way up from starting it around, what's that, $12, $12 to the north of 60. So <clears throat> 4X your $12 uh, uh, investment, so 400% uh, return. Kind of bebops bounce, around between 40 and 60 there for a couple months, it's been a steady sell-off. Uh, is the bottom in? Well, that's what you would have to decide, but I would say at 30, there is probably, the bottom is probably in here. Uh, still got a 22% short, still losing money. Um, but it's doing a lot of cool stuff, right? So it's trying trying to make a name for itself and has a lot of backing. So uh, I'm not going to put my money behind it, but I wouldn't have any problem buying some buy, if somebody bought some here. But I think you have to sell if it hits 30. So don't take the entire ride down past 30. All right, <clears throat> let's move over to TD Ameritrade and get set up for the open. Morning, everyone. Welcome to the On Time on Target play of the day. There is the opening bell. We're looking long at everything on the left hand screen over here. We've got the SP 500 um, <clears throat> in a uh, one minute chart. We've got AMC, is probably my favorite. I'm um, going to let it establish it low of the day and then take it long. I have ASTR is a pretty good long story and as well as plug power. So we're going to kind of watch these. Remember, it's good that they're all going down initially. That is profit taking million shares of AMC in the first like what 30 seconds pretty uh pretty impressive all right bottoms at 3640 need a 30 so 30 3675 is going to be our entry long there's risk in this because it's moving around so much that's a 35 cent stop <clears throat> again 3675 long with a 3640 um, stop at the bottom. There it is, 36.75. So we are in it at 36.75, covering down here the low of the day down at 36.40. So 35 cents. We'll take a look at our, our points here once I get the arrow drawn. So there's no confusion on what we're doing. So 75 plus 35, that's 37.10 is right here. That'd be one. 37.45 would be two. And 37, 45, 37, 80, which is right off the top of the chart, is our third point. So if we can hop out here, oh, we'll be able to get to it. 30, what did I say? 37, 45, 37, 80. We'll draw that in there and then we'll zoom back in. All right, so that's drawn in and zoom back in, keep an eye on things. All right, so covering that low of the day, 36.40. If it breaks down below that, you've got to be out. All right, looking at other uh, ASTR, trading pretty good. It'd be tough to cover the low of the day. You're looking at a 10 cent stop and that's just kind of too much there. Uh, plug power, 29.25 plus 30, it'd be 55, just past the entry point there. Plus there's kind of keeps selling off in this 29. Uh, 65 to 2970 range. So don't necessarily like that. Let's take a look at some other stuff. 
All right, you're out of uh, AMC, busted trade there. Red X of shame. Been saying that way too much lately on these trades. Uh, but it went out by seven cents, so you got to be out. Take your loss, walk away, and uh, come back tomorrow or find another trade, right? That's if you trade all day, which I don't. All right, uh, VTNR was our short. <clears throat> pretty low on the volume here. It uh, looks like it stopped out actually to the top side. Nope, it's not stopped out, but it's certainly uh, not acting as it should. Uh, let's see, ASTR would have been the award winner long here. That was is just a tough entry. <clears throat> if you get the true entry on this thing, it's up at about five hour point right now. So um, but that would be a tough entry. I don't think I could have gotten that entry even if I was staring at it, but all right. VNTR, let's see the other loans we look at. Fuel cell, these are all based off of the um, uh, the infrastructure bill, I believe has, has the Wazir Ladder, the new budget has a bunch of clean energy stuff in it. So fuel cells up 11%, uh, MVST, also up 11% uh, on the same theme. And then uh, I wanted to check QCLEAN, QCLN, which you know is how I play it for most of my investors, uh, up a percent. Again, it's got, it's not just hydrogen, it's everything, right? So uh, bouncing up there a little bit nicely. Take a look at this chart a little bit, 180 day chart. So Clean energy did was kind of down here quite a bit and it re pretty much recovered across the board, but it hasn't been the money maker that it was uh, going into the election. So, all right, we're gonna leave that behind and come back over or we're gonna take a look at the longer term stuff in the market. All right, you got AMC up, Clickstream's up 5%, Trade Desk up 5%, that's pretty exciting. Uh, KWeb, a lot of folks are in that and I get the uh, question mark on it pretty, you know, significantly on why are we in K-Web when China has all these problems? Well, they won't forever, right? And they are working through the problems. So invest, trying to invest near the bottom, you'll never get the exact bottom. Uh, but I do like K-Web here and I like Baba here. I like Neo here. Um, other than that though, pretty much it's a uh, stay away. I've been accumulating some DD along the way. Um, DraftKings up a couple percent. So DraftKings bought Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Uh, which Golden Nugget Online Gaming jumped 50% yesterday based off of that news. Um, and I just read there's a stadium. I don't remember uh, which one it was, but there's a stadium that is going to have live betting boards inside the stadium now. So I think the whole sports, I'm not a sports gambler. Um, the only time I, I like to take a trade, you know, like every day for my job, uh, is when I think there's an, an edge or an advantage or some mathematical model that I can apply to it, uh, to where I have an advantage. I think in sports gambling, there's people that do it professionally. So if you know better than the house, I, I think you're setting yourself up for, 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 for failure. But if you're doing it for fun, like I think most people do, uh, they might have, they might tell their friends, they might have an edge, but I think they probably realize they don't. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, have fun with it. But I do think it is really catching on. So, and certainly if we got betting boards inside the stadiums with a $12 Coors Light uh, thing, you know, you're, you're adding up the hype of the situation to throw in the alcohol in there. And then you've got the uh, gambling. What if the uh, stadiums went to like a, a casino model where they gave away the beer for free? You know, they soaked up that seven cents that it costs to, to buy the Coors Light. And instead of selling it for $12, they uh, give it away for free and encourage everybody to gamble. It's quite an idea. All right. The other things got uh, micro strategy up. Let's take a look at the downside. Roblox down. Don't know why. Have to look at that. Making a note. Down a couple percent, but it really shouldn't be because everything else is up. Uh, let's see. DXC has been hitting all-time highs. Not worried about them. AbV, I think, is a buy here. I really do, 4.5% dividend, and it's price such uh, that you can add. And I added some yesterday, and I'll probably add some more today. All right, that's it for looking at long-term stuff. Let's go back over and talk about share uh, or about reinvesting your dividends. Now, should you reinvest them? 
So let's back up and talk about it. So you hold a stock that pays a dividend. Now, I don't personally buy stocks intentionally just for the dividend unless you're in retirement and I'm investing, you know, for income for you, if you will. Um, the, you know, where we need that dividend. Um, and in that case, you're not going to reinvest it because you're going to turn around and live off it, right? You're going to, uh, you know, take that as a check in the mail, uh, if you will. Um, but first of all, so the dividend comes in, a couple things can happen. You can, if you click reinvest, it's going to turn around buy more shares of the holding that you have. Um, and if you, same with capital gains, especially with mutual funds that have both dividends quarterly and an end of year, generally have the long-term, short-term capital gains, all those payments that kind of come in, um, which is very tax efficient because you're getting those payments at the last time you want them. Um, so, and again, it's one of the reasons I left mutual funds. You could have a mutual fund that's down on the year, but up for the two decades that it's been holding these positions. So you can have a loss on the books and since people are leaving the fund, they've had to sell a bunch of stuff. So you can not only take a loss in the mutual fund, but also have to pay taxes on all these capital gains. Now you do pay taxes whether you re on the capital gains, whether you reinvest them or not. So it's not like you're, you're being sneaky with the tax man here. Um, but the bottom line question you need to ask yourself is, do I want to continue to pile money into the same company that's paying me for the shares? Now, I would say if you are a passive investor, I, you don't you do your own portfolio and you set it and forget it, check it once a quarter, uh, I would automatically reinvest. Yeah, just keep your money working for you in some fashion. Uh, keep it out of cash. You know, cash is a killer uh, on total return. So that's the no brainer if you're not looking at it. Now, if you are actively managing it, one thing that's nice, and I would say once you get a six figure portfolio or above, you start talking seven figures and it's it's pretty significant um don't reinvest again it's a strategy don't reinvest intentionally because the cash position so if you don't reinvest that stuff just sits there in cash and you just said well cash is a killer well it is but it also adds up right so that way whether you or me or whoever's managing your money i always have cash so when alibaba gets hit i have cash to buy more um, a lot of folks are like well uh, you say it's, you know, Steve, you say it's good when the stock market goes down because you can buy more shares and that's true. And they're like, well, I don't have any cash. I would have to sell something low to buy something else low. Right. And I don't want to do that. I'm like, I hear you. So that's why well, let's not reinvest your dividends. Let's have everything go into cash. So that way we always have at least a little bit of dry powder to work with, uh, when we go to buy. All right. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for checking in. We will see you guys back tomorrow morning. Have a good one.